Oh wait, I gotta turn the lamp off. Wait, should I? Or is it gonna fuck with the lighting if I do or if I don't? Um, fucking A. Should I turn it off, guys? I don't know what the fuck we should do. Especially when I change, I feel like it's gonna be like different. Okay, hey guys, obviously we're doing a list video. Um, This is a list week, obviously one is not, I know. I'm well aware, but I have a lot of like, this is like, we're gonna do like a show and tell portion and then we're gonna switch. Um, I've seen Laura Taylor. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go into the show and tell first, and then I have a little story, and then we can go into the list. So show and tell. Here we go. So this is the thing. You guys know everything I have in this room is very thought out. By the way, someone just bought something from Emma Cars. So if you're watching this, by the grace of God, somehow, thank you for doing that. Um, sales have been going up this week, uh, this year already. So we are on good start. Like I'm seeing terror this year. I'm going on vacation this year. You guys know where. Um, and like it's just like oh my gosh, I always get my way. Like you guys know, I always get my way. And yeah, and then we're gonna go, we're, we are going to get into it with the fucking retard who tried on Yubo with me earlier. We're going to go over that and we are, I'm going to rip you fucking to shreds. Here we go. Like, I know I come off as like some fucker who doesn't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but trust me, I know everything you fucking think I don't, first of all. Um, I like, I, I'm just not a retard, okay? And I know, like, I know, like, I know, I know people who know people who know people. Like, I just, you know, it's like a whole, like, ripple effect, okay? I'm not the person you want to fuck with. I may look like it, but I'm really not the fucking retard on you about out there I'm talking to you, okay? And everyone else who's, like, a dumb and retard wants to try me, okay? Like, I, I am not the person to be fucked with, okay? And I will leave it at that. Like, I will leave it at that. I'm not, this is an, obviously a threat. I don't do that shit. We don't do this here. I don't name names. I don't do this shit. But the fucking retard on Yubo, this is for you. We're going to get into you later. And yes, I'm going to be dragging you to Phil. So here, get ready. Anyway, so, show and tell. So obviously, I got my Firuchi. Um, you guys, I love them very, very much. And um, only, because I got, because I have credit where credit is due. I only, I only knew about them because of Alex. And yeah, so I love their brand. I love what they stand for. I love their, like, from the 70s. I love that. And I just love that. And so it's like the navy like blue i know it looks black at least it does like right now when i'm filming this i don't know how it's gonna look like actually on youtube but like yeah like right out and i had that feel i knew it was going to obviously i'm not a retard but like i knew it was gonna do that so yeah this is what this is one of the items right it's so beautiful and i pay for it my damn self with my own damn fucking money okay so shut the fuck up everyone paid for really everything you guys know that and then going more into ferrucci um i have these embroidered green sweatpants and when I go to another concert I'm going to very shortly, I think I'm going to wear these. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to wear these because it's still going to be, like, kind of cold outside, but also, like, kind of not at the same time. Um, and it's so beautiful. And I love, like, the white lettering with the angels on it. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I love this, like, green color. It's so pretty. And the embroidery on here, it looks flawless. Like, it looks flawless. Like, it looks flawless. Like, such good quality. Like, Ferrucci always is. You guys know I love Ferrucci. They responded to my DMs. Like, they're always interacting with me. They told me about a launch before it even came out. Like, a week before it came out. Like, I love them very much. You guys know this. And then obviously we have Taylor stuff, of course. So, um, we can save the best for last. Well, one of my favorite shows. So I got the Carmen's My Boyfriend shirt. Of oh, fucking course, you guys. It's so beautiful. This is actually what I'm going to wear um, in a couple minutes or so, give or take. This is what I'm going to wear, probably. It's so beautiful. And I love it very, very much. But last but not least, I had this and then resold it. I don't know. This is like, welcome back. Here we are. Um, I'm a part-time, I have a small-time business, right? So, um, whenever I, like, sell stuff, I sometimes instantly regret it. Like, they came out probably good. I regretted. And this is one of the things that I regretted, too. But everything else, either I, that I regret, I just bought back, you know, or I just never sold to begin with. So, because I learned my lesson the first time around. So, I actually had this back in 2020. I don't think I ever filmed with it. I think I filmed a video, but I never posted it, like, publicly. Um, but yeah, so I bought it back. I got actually in a bigger size. I sold it in a small, and I bought it in a medium. So, this time around, so I used to have a small, and I have a medium. Um, so yeah, this is what it is. It's so beautiful. I know it's, like, simple on the front, and then it's parting in the back, right? It's golden like daylight. Obviously, you guys know I love daylight, but this is, like, actually fucking huge. Like, it's a medium, but it's oversized, like, extremely oversized. But it's so beautiful, and I love it a lot. You guys know obviously um and daylight means so much to me like the lover era like i'll always be in the lover era like the lover era will always like hold on to me i think i don't think i'll ever like enter my or exit my lover era um i got some taylor nation found me that's when like i saw taylor in august like and they followed me 13 years before lover you know so it's like lover era will always mean a lot to me and um it just sucks that it got cut short due to the pandemic obviously cruel summer's never single and like i just think like we're gonna segue into the list here we go guys so, um, speaking of that, like, imagine if, like, COVID was never a thing, you guys. Imagine how, like, different life would be, and, like, just everything, like, the whole world would be different. Everyone's moods are different. I feel like everyone would be less offended. I feel like everyone, like, wouldn't be on x as much, and I, hold on, I'm gonna change, hold on. <laughs> yeah, just what I thought was gonna happen. Of course, my hair covers the lyrics, but you know what? We wrote, we're rolling with it, because this is actually such a cute ass top, and I think about it, I think, two weeks ago, and it came, like, last week, sometime last week. It came really fast, like, this hour was really, and this hour was okay, but no one can help bitch me, we know this. Um, like, trust me, like, I know it looks stupid, I admit, and I may come across that way, but trust me, you guys, like, I'm actually really not a retard, and I know way more than you think I do. Trust me out there, if the fucking Yubo retards out there, or anybody else out there, like, trust me, I know way more than you think I do. Um, 
And if you want to try it with me on Yugo, we can go. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not even going to say his name. I'm not even going to give him... Obviously, I don't say names, but like, obviously, I'm not going to anyways. Um, but you know exactly who the fuck you are. We can go all day long if you want. I will art argue. I will out yell you. I will do all that shit. I will out do anything for you all night long. I will yell you all night fucking long until it gets to your thick fucking skull. Actually, you know what? Oh, yeah. No, I forgot about the little story. Okay, you guys. So, I was actually trying to clean my room. Like, I like a deep clean. Not just, like, move stuff around here and then, like, put stuff away. Like, I was actually trying to deep clean. Like, clean out my nightstand. I actually did that. Like, clean out my nightstand. Throw shit away that I, like, don't need or want anymore, right? And so, I was going through it. And, um, this was the other day, right? And then, I think it was last night. I was watching Too Hot to Handle. We're gonna get into that probably, too, if I remember. Um... And so I was watching that and I was watching season four and I like Holly a lot and I like Nathan a lot. I really, Nathan's hot as fuck and I like Holly. Holly reminds me of like my brother's ex-girlfriend. <laughs> Just this bitch, okay? And I was close to her and I love her. So yeah. Anyway, so... I notice, and I feel like I saw it before, but I just ignored it and like brushed it off. But then again, I really noticed it's better going up. And it wasn't a daddy long leg because quite frankly, if it was a daddy long leg, to be honest, I probably just left it alone. Like I know it sounds like gab, but like it was by my tail rickets and I was like, fuck no, fuck no, fuck no. Like absolutely the fuck no, we do not do this here, okay? I've seen spiders, okay, they've only been in my room three times total. And one up north and then two in my room, in this room right here. And that's because I was starting to clean, right? And spiders are all up north everywhere. That's, you know, that comes with the ter territory, right? But down here, that's not really common, at least in your fucking room. You know, downstairs in the Mason, yes. But, like, in your room, that's not really as common, right? And, like, spiders, like, they're scary, but I'm not, like... I don't know, like, I was pretty freaked out because it wasn't a daddy long leg, and if it was poisonous or not, right? So what I did is I grabbed one of my water jugs, because I couldn't spray anything because the chemicals would fall into my blanket, right? So, duh, like, I couldn't do that, and I didn't want to wash them, and if it, I don't, like, you guys know, if you don't get it, you don't get it. Like, get the fuck out of here, you shouldn't even be here if you don't get it. Why well, I didn't do that. Okay, so then, like, and what do you do? You know, my parents were sleeping, I'm not going to wake them up, that's fucking ridiculous. Like, fuck off, I can do, deal with this my damn self. And so... And I've seen, like, in the bathroom, too. Well, <laughs> like, when I'm showering stuff. But I usually take baths. So, because we all know why I take baths here. And if you don't know why, go review the class. Because I'm not going to go over it again. So, anyway. So, it was, like, going up there. Actually, maybe we will get into the bath thing. Because I have a shit ton of, like, shit to you guys about that. So, the spider's going up there. And I was, like, fuck, fuck. So, I grabbed the water jug, like I said. And I threw it. And then, I'm, like, the water jug went this way. And then I went under my vibe chair. So, I took everything off my vibe chair. Put it on my desk. And I was, like, fuck that. So I was, like, up till, like, 10 in the morning, like, worrying about this damn spider. Like, I don't know why, but, like, I usually don't get freaked out over spiders like that, but it's, like, one I didn't recognize, and, like, I don't know what it, what kind it was. I know it wasn't a long leg, because he didn't, at least it didn't look like one. And like I said, if it was a daddy long leg, like, I probably would have left alone, to be honest. I really probably would have, because, like, they don't really offend me or bother me. Like, I, and you guys know I'm the least, fun, least, like, bother person ever. Like, karma will come get you one way or another, right? Karma's way for as we know here. But, like, it already is starting to get people that have tried me. So, here we are. Um, specifically my family. Anyways, so, yeah. Um, I'm not gonna go into why, because you guys don't, well, I don't need names on here anyways, but, like, if you fuck with me, those who come against me shall fucking fail, bitch. Shall fucking fail, bitch. Anyways. So, um, or come for me, come at me, whatever the fucking, you know, whatever. You, you, y'all shall fail. If you come against me or for me or whatever, or attack me in any way, shape, or form on Yubo, grinder, wherever, wherever, you shall fail. Anyways. So, yeah. Um, there's that. And that's, so, yeah, the spider, I don't know to this day, I don't know what happened to the, to this moment. I don't know where the spider is. Um, I don't know if I got it or not. I don't know. Uh, because I really wasn't paying attention. I was freaking out and I'm trying not to, like, wake up everybody in the whole world. So, yeah. Um, so it is what it is. Life will go on. Life went on. Here we are. Okay. So, now we can get into the list shit. And, I, to be honest, I, here's where we don't remember. Here's where we don't remember. So, I'm so happy that the girl bought something. She was so nice. And, um, the fuck is that? Yeah, okay, so back to, like, the COVID thing. Like, imagine if COVID would never happen, because that's what I was talking before. I, like, changed shirts. Like, could you imagine, like, what life would be like? Like, everyone would still be going in office for the most part, unless you were tired or remote before, right? Um, like... Everyone would be in school normally, or college normally, and, like, everything would just be normal. Like, concerts went on, went on, sporting events, bars would be open, restaurants, like, everything would be, like, fully staffed still. Like, COVID killed a lot. What the fuck is that? So, like, there's cameras all around where I live, so it's, like, if you hear shit, you know, you can always, like, refer to someone or, like, ask someone to look at shit. But it's, like, what the fuck is that? Like, what the fuck is that? Oh, well, who gives a shit, right? So, I think it's a car. Like, it sounds like a car, but, like, is it? 
I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, like imagine if COVID like never existed, it never happened. Like imagine like how different life would be. Like guys, we would still be, we would have went to concerts three years ago. Like who would have thought, right? But like we would have. Like it's so bizarre to me. Or like four years, or no, like two years ago we would run out of concert if COVID would never happen. Like isn't that so bizarre and odd? Although like some outbreak never happened. But apparently like the first case of like COVID in like the States was like, I think in January of 2020. I can't remember for sure. Don't fucking call me. I, don't, I could be way off. I don't fucking know, okay? Uh, but yeah, I, brought, I lost my Taylor voice. So I'm gonna have to buy a new one. Um, and it was kind of, like, getting, like, I, I wore it, so, you know, it's kind of, like, getting old anyway, so I kind of needed to get a new one, but this is my, like, dupe, yes, the fucking dupe, I don't give a shit, Cartier bracelet, and it's beautiful either way. Um, I kind of want to get one that looks more real than this, like, this one is from, like, the store, you guys know the store, if you don't know the store, then you don't belong here, um, but it is beautiful, and you guys know I love silver, I don't really like gold that much, I say that as if I'm not wearing a yellow shirt, and, like, um, but I really, like, gold is, like, not my favorite color, I like yellow, but I don't like gold, if that makes sense, like, I don't know, like, I mean, yellow still is my, like, first color to wear, but it's not, like, my last either. Like, gold will probably be my last. I'm gonna think I'm gonna try the lamp up. Hold on, guys. This will make a difference. We're gonna find out. I did last time, so we're gonna find out if it makes a difference this time or not. Um, like, I know it did. Oh, my God, my Archer blanket's all the way in the back. I need to move that out of the way, too. We're gonna move it right there. <laughs> okay, did that make a difference? Let's find out. Is that better or is that worse? I think it might be better. Because I'm wearing a bright shirt, so I think it's gonna be brighter in here automatically. Um, which I don't know if that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Anyway, so yeah, like, um, so yeah, like, imagine, like, what the fuck, like, life would be like if, like, COVID ever happened. Like, you, we would still be able to go to concerts, you guys. Like, who would have thought, right? Like, if you were to tell us five years ago that there's gonna be a pandemic in less than three years ahead of you, we would all be like, what the fuck, you're fucking full of shit, right? But that's why I think, and, like, going, but, like, so going into that, like, kind of sort of, like, the lover era again, like, I think... Taylor had plans for Cruel Summer to be a single. She knew it was a Swifty favorite. She knew, like, it was a fandom favorite. She knew. And she kept hinting at it. She kept Easter egging it. Uh, in music videos, you know, the devil's with the dice, the angels with their eyes, like, Spotify canvas thing that she took a picture in front of, like that. Um, so I think she had intentions and plans about being a single, but I think, uh, obviously, since the Lover era got cut short, like, the main music video was re released, I think, the 24th or 27th of February. So that was all, like, two, three weeks before COVID hit, like, before the lockdown or whatever. So it's, like, Imagine, like, what could have been. Like, do you guys not think about that? Like, imagine, like, and I think, like, people would be as easily offended as they are now. Like, even though people have always been easily offended over everything. Um, I don't know. It's, like, so, like, bizarre to think about. Like, is it not? I don't know. It's, like, a, it's, like, because I'm a nostalgic person. I dwell on the past a lot. Like, she's so 23 instead of fantasy. Taylor wrote right where he left me for me, I swear to God. Um, and the, all along with the Archer Mirror Ball, Death by a Thousand Cuts. Um, 20, not 22, nothing new. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, like, it's just, like, it's so surreal, you know? Like, how different life would be. Like, end of 2019, like, 20 was, 2019 was the last normal year, and, like, none of us fucking knew about it. Like, and it's weird, because as soon as 2020 hit, I had a gut feeling something was off, like, something was way off, and a lot of you other did, like, best you know you did, because we've talked about this before, but, like, we just had a gut feeling something was off, and then, what, less than five months later, the pandemic was a thing, and it shut the world down and changed your lives forever. And it's, like, who, you know, it's, like, I feel bad for, like, all, like, my cousins and stuff, because, like, they have to go to, like, school and this shit, and, like, they have to wear the mask and all that shit. I mean, maybe not as, they're not as strict now with it. But, like, three years ago, they were, like, mad, such Nazis about it. And, like, it's just, like, everyone scrambled, and they freaked everyone the fuck out. And, like, no one knew what to do. No one knew what to expect. And it's, like, I even remember when I was woke, and I believed it all. And then I fucking woke up, and I was, like, wait, what the fuck? Something's off here. And then I did my own research and came out with medical conclusions, just like you should. And if you want to wear a mask, so you may do that. It's a free-ass country. As long as it doesn't affect anybody else and harm anyone else, you should be left the fuck alone in life. Like, do you. Talk about you. Talk about your life. Your Whatever you want to do with your life. Don't talk about other people. Leave everybody alone. Set of everyone's life. Set of everyone's business. Then just do you. Okay, because you're going to come for me. Speaking of we're gonna get into the Yubo thing. Here we go. If you're gonna come for me, bitch, if you're going to come for me, here's the requirements. We've gone over them before, we will go over them again because you're probably new to this class. Here we go. Here we go. If you're fat of me, you lost. If you are woke, you lost. If you're ugly, fat, stupid, worthless, and woke, you you, you automatically lost. If nothing in your room, I can guarantee them to you it's not, by the way. If nothing in your room doesn't cost more than my room, you lost too. Like you lost too. Could you sell all of your things in your room and make thirty thousand, maybe more dollars? No, you couldn't. So you automatically lost. You lost. You lost. You lost, bitch. You fucking lost. You 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 just lost. You just lost. Go focus on your damn self. And then he told me I had split ends. Everybody who colors their hair and who has long hair for the most part pretty much doesn't everybody have split ends. Like, you fucking retard out there. Like, you fuck... It's like a human thing. It's like a natural thing that everybody in life goes through who has long hair or colors their hair, whatever the saying is. Or whatever the case is. Like, you're a fucking retard. Okay, you are a fucking retard. Yes, I have split ends. No, I do not want to cut them off because I like my damn hair. If you don't want to have split ends in your hair, you don't fucking have to. This is my hair. It's not affecting anybody else. It's not hurting 
humming or humming anyone else. It's not on your body. It's on my body. Okay, therefore, I will decide how my hair goes. If you don't like it, I don't give a shit. I, I actually want to keep it down more just for you, just to piss you the fuck up. Like, it is my fucking hair, okay? If I want to have split ends, I will have split ends. I don't give a shit what any of you say or do with your own hair. It's attached to your body. You can do whatever the fuck you want. It's your own hair, okay? Okay, like, it is what it fucking is. Yes, people who color their hair split ends. It's natural. It happens to everybody who colors their hair. It's a, it is what it fucking is. It's a way of life. It's a way of fucking life, bitch, okay? And I don't give a shit what you have to say. You're just pissing me off because that comment is so fucking dumb. You sound like a fucking retard. Like, were you born yesterday or some shit? Like, you sound so fucking retarded, dude. You have no fucking idea. Don't fucking come for me unless there are comments. Okay, and I, wanna, and I also want to say, make sure you're not ugly, fat, super worthless, and woke. Make sure everything in your room costs more expensive than mine. Make sure you've made no mistakes in your life. Make sure you're a saint related to Mother Teresa or God himself up above. Okay, and then show me your tax returns, your bank statements. Do a full body shot. 360 top to bottom. Make sure you're skinny than me. Make sure you better vibe than me, which I can guarantee to you fucking don't if you're already trying to come for me. It's because you're ugly. It's true. It's true. If, you, if you're coming for someone that you don't like, it's because you're ugly. Automatically. Automatically. You, you automatically lost. You automatically lost because hot people don't come for people. Or they don't, like, they, they just don't. They defend themselves when they have to because the fucking retards, the ugly ones, come for us. So we have to defend ourselves. Yes, I'm fucking hot. But just have, uh, yeah. Like, we all know why I'm hot here. Okay, we all know why I'm hot here. I don't even, I'm not going to go over it again. But for, we all know that now. Okay, we all know that now. We all know that now. Okay? And I've said it before, I will not say it again in this video. So shut the fuck up, figure out your damn self. Go research it, bitch. Research the damn class, okay? And you may know why I'm hot, okay? Okay. Like, it includes straight men, by the way. Anyway, so yeah. Like, I have just had enough of the fucking retards trying me on Yubo, okay? First it was Grinder, which Grinder really wasn't as bad. Like, it actually really wasn't. But now it's fucking Yubo. And, like, the fucking retards who try with me on Yubo, you automatically lost. You automatically lost. If you're a pound fatter than me, you lost. Go focus on losing weight, bitch. Go focus it on losing weight. Go to the gym. Call Weight Watchers. Maybe Oprah can give you a discount. Like, I don't fucking know, bitch. But you lost. You lost. If you're going to come for me and you are one pound heavier than me, you lost. If you are ugly, fat, super worthless, and woke, you have no reason to come for me whatsoever. And if, those are the people that always come for me. They've always been ugly, fat, super worthless, and woke. Okay? Okay. And none of their shit in their room costs more than mine. I can guarantee them to you it doesn't. I didn't even see his room. I don't need to see his room because I know damn well it doesn't. I know damn well it does not. Okay? That chair right there is over $2,000 alone. Alone with just the pillow, just both blankets. Hey, like it. It's the blanket come out, but it's going for over a grand. We know this. Okay, we know this. Doesn't mean people bought it, but it means it's been going up for over a grand. It's been on selling size for over a grand, okay? The lower pillow right there, it can go from like 45 to like 200. And like the Olivia and Meredith cat pillows, they've gone for like anywhere from like 50 to like, I think 500 was like 500 plus actually. So it's like, you lost. You lost, bitch. You, you just fucking lost, bitch. Okay? You fucking lost. So you lost. Okay. Anyways. Now we've gone over that. Um. Yeah, protect my peace. I don't know what the fuck's out there for. Um, yeah, on that ever, I hate however, like, all these PC people are like, be grateful, be grateful, like, do gratitude, do good gratitude. But, like, okay, like, yes, we all can hear and sing here, or whatever the shit is. But, like, we know, it, we, we don't need the PC shit. We need real life shit. Okay, what the fuck does it have to do with anyone's problems? Like, what is that? Being, like, um, like, being able to see or hear or taste or smell or whatever have anything to do with anyone's problems in their life. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't get it. Because typically, obviously, not in all scenarios and not all percentiles, obviously, I'm not a fucking retard. But chances are, if you are deaf, you were probably born with like that, right? And you couldn't help it and you couldn't control that, right? But, like, if you can fix it, you should be able to fix it, okay? Obviously, you can't fix deafness, I don't think, so they say. I don't know. I'm not deaf, obviously, but, like, you f you just lost. You, you need to stop. Everyone needs to shut the fuck up. Leave everybody alone. Set up everyone's life. Set up everyone's business and focus on their own damn lives, bitch. I want to make sure you've made no mistakes in your life. You're going to come for me. You've done no wrong. You've offended nobody. You've hurt nobody. You've you've been the best person ever. You're a saint, complete saint. You can go to church and not worry about anything whatsoever. You don't have to pray anything whatsoever. Then, yes, you can have the fucking right to come for me. Until then, you lost. You lost. You don't have to lost. Make sure you are a saint. Anyone out there, make sure you are a saint before you come for me or before you have anything to say about me. Make sure you are a fucking saint because don't fucking talk about me, bitch. Don't fucking talk about me. Don't keep tabs on me. Remember we said this for almost almost a year ago. The, I think it was like, remember when that fucking recharge from high school and these two guys or whatever, these guys were like trying to keep tabs on me? Like, no. I blocked them right away because you, you, no, we don't do this shit here. We don't do this here, okay? You lost. You lost. Focus on your own damn self. Make sure you are the most perfect person before you ever come from me or anybody I love, adore, or care for. Okay? Okay. I can guarantee to you, if you are coming for me, it's because you're uglier than me, you're fatter than me, you're stupid, stupid, and you're fat, and you're woke. Okay? And if you have any of those, if you failed any of those criteria, you, you lost. If you failed at least one, more than one, all of the five, you lost. You're, you're, you automatically lost. You're out. You, you just... You've been disqualified, bitch. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, and I know the rats in the back of the closet are trying to get to the fat and, you know, I've had enough. 
Okay, quite frankly, I've had enough. I don't care what anyone does in their life, okay? Leave everybody alone, instead of everyone's life, as long as it's consensual and it's legal and it's not hurting anyone else. Everybody should let the fuck alone in life, okay? Like, okay, okay, okay. Like, take it up with the people who you think have actually, like, they go, go bother them, because I don't care what you have to say, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you have to say, but I'm going to defend myself until I'm 85 and I will still do this shit. Yes, I fucking will, bitch. I might talk a little sore, no the fuck I will, but just will talk fucking fast. But I will defend myself with all means necessary until you fucking get it through your dumb, small, thick skull, bitch. Okay? Okay. Fucking A. Fuck off, okay? Fuck off, because I've had enough. Fuck off. Anyways. Yeah, like, and it's like, like, you're not a saint. If you're coming for me, you better, like I said, you better make sure you're related to Mother Teresa, God himself. Like, you better make sure you're related to the Pope or something. Like, I don't know. Like, who the fuck do you think you are that you're entitled enough to come for me? Just like with the tip thing. Remember, we're going to segue into that. I know we've broached this before. But the tip thing. You are not entitled to a tip, bitch. No, the fuck you are not. You are not entitled to a tip. Did you, like, serve me from France? Did you fly here from France? Did you drive here from California? Did you fly in from Italy or some shit and you're serving me? And you're giving me the best quality customer service ever? Then yes, I'll give you the biggest tip. But if you're going to drive to my house, and like DoorDash or whatever, or like, I mean, though we don't do that. But like, if you're, if I'm gonna go out and I say if I buy a vegan pizza, I'm not gonna pay you just because you like you made me a vegan pizza. Like, fuck off, fuck no, fuck no, you entitled bitch, you entitled bitch. Okay, just because I go if I order a French fries at a restaurant and you want a tip just for that, and I'll like, get a fries. Fuck off, I could do it myself for at my own damn house for fucking free without a tip in sight, and I wouldn't bitch about it because I did it my damn stuff, and I'm deciding to make it. Hold on, let's go stop. Yeah, because, like, I decided to make it, so, uh, therefore, I'm not, I'm not deserving of a tip. Just like, just like out there, what, because I'm a small-time business, so I can speak on this, bitch, because I have sold things, so I can speak on this, okay? I'm not pulling this out of my fucking ass, okay? Just like, case in point, me selling on my selling platforms, we all know what they are here, and if you don't, you don't belong here, um, that is just, like, me asking, or, like, that is, like, me expecting a tip from buyers just because I decide to ship it myself versus having a professional do it. Like, fuck up. I do it my way and I do it the right way, okay? So therefore, why the motherfucker on God's green earth should I get tipped for that? Like, no, I'm deciding to do it. Therefore, I'm deciding to work with this per with, with this company and this app. Therefore, um, I don't deserve shit when I'm deciding to do it my damn self, bitch. Yes, it takes time, but it doesn't, um, you're, are you a fucking doctor? No. Are you saving people's lives every day of your life? No. Therefore, you're not entitled to anything. Okay, you're not entitled to anything. Like, nothing is, not everything in life is free, you fucking retarded woke fucks out there. We all know this here. Well, the woke, non woke retards know this. We all know this here, okay? Therefore, you are not entitled to a tip. No, the fuck you are not. No, the fuck you are not. No, the fuck you are not entitled to a tip. Like, someone in my family, um, I'm not even gonna say her name, but someone in my family, used to work at, um, this one restaurant downtown, right? And she thinks that, like, she, like, I, she didn't even say it, but, like, I could just tell she's, like, has this person where she, like, thinks she's the deserving of a tip. Well, she's not family yet, but she's going to be soon, okay? And I'm sorry, but that's wrong. You don't do that. Like, uh, I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm not a fucking saint either, and I don't care. She can explode it if she wants. It's a free-ass country. I don't give a shit what anyone does. So shut the fuck up out there. I don't care what anyone does. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Everyone shut up. I don't care. Like, I really don't give a fuck what anyone does. Like, as long as it's not affecting anyone else or harming anyone else, leave everybody alone in life. That's my motto, right? Like, do you, and I'll do me every damn day, okay? And I'll defend myself every fucking damn day. But it's like, you are not deserving of a tip. You are not, you are so entitled to think that you are. You are so entitled to think that you fucking are. Unless you give me the best quality customer service I've, I've ever had fucking had, which is very hard to impress me, by the way. And I'm very, I'm very picky. My sister loves that. Yes, I, yes, the fuck I am. It's yes, the fuck I am. But you know what? I take being picky over a fucking retard serving me shit any fucking day of the week, bitch. So yes, I fucking am picky, okay? Yes, I fucking am. And I take that as actually a big compliment, actually, because most people in this world are not picky and they just go buy it just because they like it. Like, oh my God, we're going to try to pick this, this, and this up. Like, no, bitch. Everything that I buy is very thought out. It's very curated. It's very thoughtful in my brain. And it makes sense in my brain. That's all that matters. If you don't like it, I don't give a shit. It's my fucking room. It's my, I sleep in here, not you, okay? Therefore, I am going to make the decision that works best in my room, okay? And if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. I don't want you to like my mom. I don't want you to like any in my room, unless you're a good Swifty or non woke Swifty, or you're a non woke or Maz Ferrucci, Justin, Alex, um, collector, fan, whatever the case is. I don't want you to. I don't actually don't want you to. When you say you don't like anything in my room, God, I don't want you to. I don't want you to have anything in my room that I have. I don't. Because my room was one of a kind. You've never seen anything like it. It's the fucking truth, bitch. No one would ever thought to mix what I mix in my room. They just wouldn't. They just fucking wouldn't. And it is <coughs> what it fucking is. God, what the fuck was that? Anyways. My God, I've had enough. I can't. I can't with this shit anymore. I can't. I can't. Where, where's my list? Like, why is that in here? 
Yeah, love our haircut short. Fine if we never. Oh, yeah, this is the thing. Okay, we're gonna go into like terror stuff for a minute here. And this is gonna piss a lot of sweaties off, but I don't care because it's the fucking truth. If we never hear like Blink Space Live again, I'm fine with that. Like, at least through this era. Like, I'm, I'm fine with that. I really am. Or like, I knew you were trouble. Like, love story. The only like singles that I actually want to hear, Reputation onwards, are on. Um, Excluding, like, um, she doesn't own, obviously. I really want to hear, like, what you mean do life. I, I, I want to hear Cardigan and Well Alive. I really do. But if I could hear, like, I would rather hear, like, Mirabal Live over Cardigan. Or even Well Alive. Yes, I would. I'd rather hear Why We Left Me Live, Peace, Epiphany, over Cardigan or Willow. Like, yes, the fuck I would. I know she probably, Taylor's probably going to include the melody of Cardigan, Willow, and, um, August. And I know that. But, like, it's, like, really? Really? Like, come on, guys. We, so, geez, we, we don't need to hear Love Story again, okay? We, and I know she is probably going to incorporate it somehow. I'm not stupid. Um, because she's gonna every, every tour stop, and I get it, but it's like, can we move on? Like, really? Can we move on to stuff we haven't heard? Like, oh, I want to hear Lover Onward Life. Every song from Lover Onward Life. Like, that's fine. And including the recording, too. I'm, I am including Red Tears version and Fearless Tears version of that as well. So don't think I'm that, because I am. So it's like, because they stand on their own versus the stolen versions to me, so they stand on their own. And they're with Taylor, not with the stolen versions. But yeah. But like, I don't know, like, I'd rather hear, much rather hear Cruel Summer, The Archer, Mirrorball, Death by a Thousand Cuts, Epiphany, Peace, The One, you know, over Love Story, or Blank Space. Yeah, hands down. Hands the fuck down, bitch. And if you don't want to, that's fine. That's on you. I don't give a shit what anyone knows. Okay? Okay. <laughs> um, I love to trick people. I love to think, make people think that I'm done. I'm, smote, I'm so much more than 99.99% of you, which is true. Um, I know so much that you think I don't. Trust me, I fucking do. Um. Oh yeah, here we go. If Lover isn't on your wedding playlist, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. It's the truth. I think we wrote this before, but I can't remember. Because, like, I watch my videos, guys, but, like, I, like, kind of forget because I talk about so much shit. Like, I talk about over 30 topics sometimes. I'm, I'm, I don't know. All together, you know, throughout my list journey. So, it's, like, I forget what I talk about. But if Lover isn't on your, like, um, wedding playlist, you're doing it wrong. Like, or Cruel Summer, let me get the single. You gotta think of the single people who heard it. You can't, it's not all about the fucking bride and the groom. No, the fuck it's not, bitch. Or the two brides and the two groups. No, the fuck it's not, bitch. It's about the single people, too. I don't give a shit, okay? I don't give a shit. It's for the single people as well who are not gonna get married. They love to say, I love people, I love watching people be in love. Obviously, who the fuck doesn't? And they sure woke retard. But it's like, I do. But, like, I obviously don't know if I want love for myself or not, because I don't, I'm, I'm on the fence about it. Let's go on as they do. Sometimes they don't. And it's like, no, it's for the single people as well. Like, yes, the main, like, the main event is them. But, like, the, the secondary event, like, their priority, the bride and the groom, or two brides, two grooms, whatever. But, like, um, the secondary event is the main pe the single people. Like, let's just fucking be honest here. Because, like, when you're on the dance floor, it's a game of fun. Um, what about the single people? Do you guys ever think of, think, of, think of the single people who are selfish fucking bastards out there? What about the single people? What are you going to make them dance to if they're all alone? What are you going to make them dance to? Play the archer for me. <laughs> if someone out there, if I'm, I'm watching, well, I don't know, whatever. Um, I want to hear the art. Hypothetically, if I ever get married, I'm going to have put the archer for the single people out there. Yes, the fuck I am. Yes, the fuck I own part. The archer and mirror ball. The archer and mirror ball. The archer and mirror ball. Those two are going to be on my wedding house for my hypothetical wedding. Hypothetical wedding. Which I'm never probably going to get married because I hate everybody. But still, like, we all know this, okay? And if you don't do it, there's something wrong with you and you're a fucking selfish bastard. And I don't even know if I'll go to your wedding if you're not on your playlist to be with. So yeah, here we go. Um... Money can buy happiness. That's the fucking thing. I, I know we've broached this before too, but yes, money can buy happiness. Can it buy you a house? Can it buy you clothes? Can it buy you a car? Can it buy you new shoes? Yes, the fucking thing. And therefore, it can buy happiness. Can it buy like actual feelings? No, but that doesn't have anything to do with happiness. Can it buy like health? Yeah, it can. It actually can. It actually can. It actually can. So, how can it not buy happiness when it can buy you your health? Like, what? Like, what? I don't get it. Like, you can go to therapy and get help, and that would make you in turn happier, right? Which you have to pay for, right? So, like, yeah, you could buy a new shirt that you love, like, case in point, you know, and it makes you happy, right? It's not only temporary happiness, like, who cares? It's still happiness, regardless. Who cares? Like, are you happy in your house every day of your life just because you own it? No, you're not. So, like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Just because it's temporary happiness. Like, shut the fuck up, you fucking woke retards out there. Um. <laughs> Oh, here we go. And you guys need to stop with the lenses shit, too. Which, that's not what I'm wondering. Which, the lenses shit is so cringy. Like, you need to stop. It's been on my list for a while, but I always forget to bring it up. But it is so cringy. Like, it is so fucking cringy. Like, stop. You look ridiculous. Like, yes, it looks realistic. But, like, don't you think that's kind of, like, odd how, like, realistic it looks like? Again, do what you want. It's a free country. I don't give a shit what it is. If you love to, you if you want to use lenses every day and post it on your Instagram, Facebook, Twitter... Snapchat, whatever the case is, you may do that. It's a free ass country. I don't give a shit what anyone does. I don't care what anyone does. I'm talking about my damn cell phone. I like to do and not like to do. Okay, okay, okay. Like I, I think it's ridiculous. I really fucking do. Like it's so like weird and like not cringy. I mean, it kind of is cringy because everyone's doing it, but it's like, like, aren't you kind of nervous about that shit? Like I'm not gonna go into what I know about it or like what I've heard about it because I don't know if it's true or not. But like still, like, like everyone, calm the fuck down with the lens of shit. And then here we go. And since I don't say names on here, we're gonna go. I, I saw this on Instagram. I think about a month or so ago. And this girl had her mouth blanket. 
And where's my damn credit, bitch? Where's my fucking damn credit, bitch? I have had my arrest blanket in here for over a year now, and I haven't gotten any, 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 any accolades whatsoever or notoriety. Yes, I deserve notoriety, bitch. Yes, the fuck I do. Yes, the fuck I do, bitch. No one made their arrest blanket, and so does Alex, but I also got the idea from Alex because I can give Alex credit, right? But she has it on her um couch. I have it on my vibe chair, so there's a difference, right? But this girl really took a picture with her Hermes blanket. Like, no, it was not the same one. If it was, I'd have been really fucking with a girl. Come the fuck on, it was not the same one as mine. Um, and it looked legit. It looked authentic. It looked just like mine, but, like, hers is a bigger one. Mine was a smaller one. And I'm like, girl, just give me the fucking notoriety, bitch. Like, just give me the fucking credit, the notoriety. Like, I fucking deserve it. Let's just be honest. So, like, I started it. Yes, the fuck I did. Along with Alex. I got all cards there, but, like... I'm the only gay bitch that started it. Let's just be honest here. Like, let's just be honest. I'm not, even though I don't associate myself with that community, I am the only gay person that started it. Like, let's just fucking be for real here. Like, you did not start it. Like, you would, like, come on. Like, be for fucking real because you don't have any of your pictures or anything. And then all of a sudden you post it. Like, really, bitch. Fucking really. At least I don't think she did. I can't remember, but like, I could be wrong. So, so my fucking wrist if I'm wrong. But like, really. I started it, bitch. I started that trend. I start as the gay person here, head of the queen of the gays here. I fucking start, even though I'm not, ugh. I'm the queen, but out of the gays. Um, Calm the fuck down because I fucking started it, bitch. Give me the fucking notoriety because I fucking started it. Like, fuck off because you did not start it, by the way. It's the fucking woke retard out there. You did not fucking start it. Shut up. Um, and like, I know Ferrucci and Golden Goose because of Alex. Yes, it's true. Golden Goose, Ferrucci, and Hermes because of Alex. Yes, the fuck I do. And I can be honest, unlike y'all. Yes, the fuck I can. That's true. And then I think I have more list shit on my phone. Uh, but there was like some Taylor related stuff. But I don't, like, I also, like, guys, be prepared for the 29th of January. She goes, I always, for, like, was it my seventh year doing the video on that year? So, yeah. Be prepared for that. And then on the 31st, the three years of Miss Murakana, we're going to talk about that, too. And then I'm, we're going to probably, like, segue into, like, the COVID thing on there. I'm probably going to, like, talk about that again, too. And that video, if I haven't filmed, I don't know if I will or not. And if an extra large is an oversized, then you wish because you're the truth. I, you guys know my Ferrucci crop top. My, um, one that I wore in a video was before. Hold on, I'll just show you guys. And it's, like, a vid, I'm a visual person, so I can, like, yeah. Like, hold on. I love this one very, very much. Actually, it's one of my favorite tops that I own, but it's, it's, you're not, if it's not huge on you, it's because you're fat. It's the fucking truth, bitch. Um, hold on. Yeah, this beauty right here. If this beauty, it's literally an extra large. I'll show you for the fucking retards. You don't believe me. It's literally an extra large. Can you see it? Yeah, you can fucking see it. Yes, it fucking is, okay? And if it's not oversized on you, it's because you're fat. Like, you guys know, I only got this top because Alex said she, because she wore it too. So that's the reason I fucking know about it. But like, it's so beautiful and like, I love it very much. But it's not oversized on you, it's because you're fucking fat. Like, it's the fucking truth, bitch. Like, yes, it fucking is. Like, it goes up to like my stomach. Like, it, it's because I'm skinny as fuck and hot as fuck. We know this. But like, it's because I'm a fucking skinny queen, skinny legend. And, um, like, yeah, like, if it's not oversized on you, it's because you're fat. It's the truth. Um, and it really is. Like, it, it, it really is. And it's so beautiful. Um, and you guys know I love Ferrucci very, very much, obviously. Um, and I just like, it runs to like Dalmatians. I don't know. It's so cute. Um, and it, like, feels like such good quality. I know it looks cheap. It actually doesn't look cheap. This is, like, almost $200, you guys. So, like, shut the fuck up. And it's so beautiful. And, like, I just love it very, very much. I know you the fuck you do not have it out there. No, the fuck you don't. I actually mentioned my arms, but I get you guys noticed. Um, yeah. Oh, and then here we go. I, I don't remember if we broke this before or not, too. But this is also really a thing that's been pissing me off and I've been thinking about it for a while, too. Okay, if you didn't listen to my Taylor in high school, you don't deserve tickets there. So there I fucking said it. There I fucking said it. I made Taylor my whole brand, and I still do it to this day. And then all of a sudden, these fucking recharges with her, who never talked about Taylor, never, ever, ever talked about her, never commented on my stuff when I would wear her. I mean, when I got out of high school, it started to happen way more. But I was in high school, like, no one ever said anything from what I remember, right? And now all of a sudden, you listen to Taylor. No, you're a phony bitch. You're a phony loser bitch, okay? You do not listen to Taylor, okay? I've been listening to Taylor since I was in, like, elementary school. Because remember, the first time I remember hearing was our song, right? And then I have, like, special memories from, like, Speak Now, and then I have special memories from Rad, 99, and then Reputation, right? So it's, like, in Lover, obviously, onwards. Um, I really don't remember too much of um, Fearless, so everything else I have a memory pretty much attached to each own, right? Like, really, bitch. Fucking really, bitch. You need, you know, you're done. You're done. Get the fuck out of here. You're, you're, like, expelled. Get the fuck out of this class, okay? This is the thing. If you haven't listened to Taylor for over five years, you don't deserve to go to the era store. I'm sorry, you don't. You don't. If you haven't been there for at least... Three or four errors you don't deserve to go. I'm sorry, you don't. Like, actually following her, like, liking all of her shit, commenting, not commenting on what you can, comment because her Instagram comments are off. Like, most of my Instagram comments are turned off too, and they've always been like that for a while. It's been like that for years for me. Some I have pictures, like, some I don't have like, comments up, but some I do. But it's like, really? Like, fucking really? Now all of a sudden you fucking do. Now all of a sudden you fucking do, bitch? Really? When five years ago you hated her and you talked shit about her. Like, calm the fuck. I know people change their minds or whatever, and I get that. I'm not a retard here. But like, really? You phony losers out there. You fucking phony, fake, jealous losers out there. You don't deserve shit. You don't deserve to go to the tour. I'm sorry, you don't. You don't. You don't. You fucking don't. You fucking don't. You should be expelled. Like, from the fandom, you should be. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, my sleep schedule's fucked again. That's true. Um, 
Yeah, like 14 million people try to get tickets. That's not unprecedented. That'll probably never happen again, at least in this lifetime. I don't think it ever will. Because no other art is no other artist is as relevant as Taylor. Obviously, clearly not. 14 million people try to get tickets. Like 14 million people. Like let that sink into your thick skulls for a second, you guys. 14 million people try to get tickets. 14 million people. Your faves could fucking never, bitch. Your flop faves could never, bitch. Never. I did the show and tell already. <laughs> um yeah, like everything in my room is strategic and thought out. You have no idea. Everything I bought out after 2019 is its purpose, which is true. I'm a, I need to be in the middle of nowhere with nothing but palm trees around for miles and miles, which is true. Lens app, you're irritating and weird and odd it is. Do y'all like the list videos? Like, I know most of you guys do. At least the people that I care about do. Um, I don't care about the fucking woke haters out there or the weak guitars out there. But, like, for me, people that love me, like, I love you guys too. But, like, you guys like my last videos? I know you guys do. Like, you guys tell me. Like, I get good feedback from them. So, like, I know you guys do. But it's like, are we getting, like, this is what we're doing now. So, it's like, even if you suggest me to do other stuff, unless it's hair related, like, I'm probably not going to do it. So, it's like, or like, I do want to feel like my updated Vibe room tour. I do want to do my updated Taylor collection, but I'm still waiting on stuff, I think. Yeah, because I ordered this very, very one of a kind shirt that no, the fuck, none of you Swifties out there have out there. I don't care if you're woke or not, you don't have this. And it was a Christmas tree farm shirt. I'll show you guys when it gets here. It's white and it's so beautiful and it's one of a kind. I've never seen anything like a big sold on resale sites. And I bought it right away. Well, I sent an offer and she accepted my offer and then I bought it. Like, oh my gosh, she was so nice too. She says you're going to ship it today. So it's like, yes, girl. Amen to you. I'll be buying from you again. So yeah. Oh, she has anything else I like that I bought from her. Um, yeah. <laughs> I need to be where the people are not. You know how I'm part of your world, Miley Cyrus? Well, it's her version. I need, I want to be where the people are. I want to be where the people are not. That's my thought about it. I need to be around nobody for hours and hours and miles and days on end because I'm happy in my misery. I love my own company. I love, I love hearing my own stuff talk. What do you think I film a video every fucking pretty much every week? Like, I just do. Like, I just do. I'm hot as fuck. I'm rich as fuck. Like, I'm iconic. I'm a queen. Like, I'm a legend. Like, it is what it is. Like, and if you don't agree, it's because you're fat. I'll get to be worth the smoke. It's a fucking truth, bitch. Like, I, I'm just... Tell me why so many say, but I'm still here. Yes, the fuck I am, bitch. Yes, the fuck I am. And no matter how much times you try to suspend me, or pardon me, I'm still going to be here, bitch, coming out in the wind like a fucking winner, bitch. I'm still never going to give up on this shit, bitch. You fucking just wait till I make it big on here. You just fucking wait. Fucking wait. And then all the weak, woke retards who denied it or said I couldn't do it. Here we are, bitch. I'm still here, bitch. I'm still fucking here. Yep, the fuck I am. Um... Uh, so I want to show you what, um, never mind, let me show you what it says, because, yeah. Um, I like to be where the people are not, I, I, oh yeah, this is the thing, this is the thing, oh, here we go, here we go. I abbreviate everything, bitch, so if you can understand what the fuck I'm saying, in a group text or whatever the case is, or just in general, like, there's something fucking wrong with you, don't ask me about it, don't ask me what the fuck I said, because if you, if you don't understand basic abbreviations, there's something fucking wrong with you. Like, I'll literally write, like, done, like, instead of D-O-N-E, I'll write D-O-N-E. Like, uh, like, are you fucking retarded, or like... You, oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Like, that's just one example. Like, for you guys, like, it's so irritating. And, like, I don't know how the fuck you don't get it. I really don't get it. Oh, yeah, and if you pay to be verified on Twitter, it's because you're a fucking loser and you're a pathetic bitch. It's the fucking truth, bitch. Like, I don't, again, I don't care what anyone does do you. I don't give a shit. Obviously, I don't care. I'm talking about my damn self here and what I think is cool and what I think is not cool. Okay, so shut the fuck up. If you want to do this, I don't give a shit. Shut up. If you do that, it's because you're a loser and it's because you have no friends. It's the fucking truth. Like, are we really doing that? Like, are you fucking serious? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? It's gonna stop any minute now, so I'm waiting for it to be, like, yellow or whatever. But, like, seriously, there's actually something fucking wrong with you paying to be on Twitter and, like, paying to be verified. Like, there's something fucking wrong with you. Like, and I like Elon. Obviously, I'm not a re no retard, so, like, I don't mind that he took over Twitter, but it's like, are you fucking serious right now, dude? Here we go. It's gonna stop. No, but it's like, really, like, why are we paying to be verified on Twitter? Again, if you want to do it, I don't give a shit no one does. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I don't care what anyone does, okay? If you want to pay to be verified on Twitter and you want to spend, what is it, $8 a month or whatever it is, you may do that because guess what? It's a free country, bitch, and you can pay what you want to pay for. I don't give a shit what anyone does. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Okay. Next object. Here we go. <laughs> um, it's just sucks because I, like, my memory is, like, horrible. That's why I literally have to write everything in the list or I'll just forget. Like, sometimes, it, like, if it's fresh in my mind, I'll, like, remember it right away. But, like, like, in the beginning of the video, but, like, I don't know. You guys know. Cruel Summer is the best song of all time. It's the truth. Um, Y'all come down and shut the fuck up. It's true. Um, the one everyone wishes they could write. The father everyone wants. The hit that got away. Because Lover got cut short. Unlike the Evermore era. Shelly barely talks about Lover. And hasn't acknowledged Evermore in months. Which is true. She did at the test, I think. But that was about it. Most um, singles. Major number one. If I never hear. Oh, yeah. Most like of Taylor singles. I'm fine if I never hear Love Again. Like, at least for this era. You know, like, I'm fine if I never hear Blake Face. Love Story. 22. Trouble. We Are Never. You know, I'm just fine if I never hear those again. At least for this, like, era. This era, I should say. Like, eh, I'd rather hear Cross Normal like over Lydia, though. So, yeah. Um, I miss Americana. That's another one. Classic. Uh, oh, yeah. I kind of hate TV unless it's related um, to Taylor. Should we talk about... Um, so, we're going to talk about... Are we going to talk about Too Hot to Handle? Yeah, okay. So, that's, like, the show, right? That I was watching. And when I saw the Spider, right? And, I mean, I, I haven't been really watching TV, but, like, now I've been getting to it. All of a sudden, it's weird. Um, 
Because I love, like, you guys know what I love to do. Like, watch YouTube, go on Twitter, whatever. And, or on Yubo with Bestie, right? So, which is actually pretty much mainly that. Um, and so, or, like, talking to such on Twitter, because, you know, I love the non woke ones on there um, as well. And so... So on to how to handle there, you guys know the story. If you don't know, if you don't know what it's about, then that's not my problem. I'm not gonna go over it um, because I don't know. I don't know how the fuck on YouTube is with the new shit, right? What it's about, right? And but it's like if you don't like someone, we just move on to the next person. I don't know. I don't think they've ever been told no in their life, so it's like they don't like expect like being told no or like they don't respect like they don't like expect being rejected. But like it's a part of life. It happens with everybody. And like if it doesn't, then there's something fucking wrong with you. But like you're not gonna get every job you go for. You're not gonna get every man you go for or woman, whatever the case is, whatever you're into, right? And, like, it's, like, really, like, fucking really, like, just move on to someone else. Like, that's what I would do. I don't know. If you don't want me, you're not the fucking love bitch, you know? Yeah, like, real, I like reality. I do like reality. Unless it's, like, old and I grew up with it. Like, I like reality TV, you know? Like, American Idol. Like, I like The Voice sometimes, you know? Like, um, what else? Do you want to handle, you know? And this is, like, a gr show I grew up with. Like, I Carly, Drake, and Josh, Hannah Montana, Wizards, you know? Sitting with a Chance, whatever the case is. Like, that's different, right? Yeah, they woke now to music taste. I know opposite to but no smoke. Oh yeah, these are more requirements for a guy, right? You can't smoke, you can't vape, you can't um, do weed or anything. I mean, you can on your own time and in your own life, but you're not gonna do it in this house or in this room, okay? Absolutely the fuck not. We are not gonna do that. Or if your car smells like weed, you're not gonna be in your car either because that's disgusting and cringy, like fuck no. Like you're gonna take me on a date and you're gonna take me to like a somewhere sweet. And, like no, you're fucking like, no, we don't do that shit here. We absolutely do not do this shit here. Guys, I think that concludes this video, the list. Um, a lot to go over, a lot to tell you guys about. I was, like, really fiery up in this one. I don't know why it's weird. Um, but yeah, you guys. I love you guys so much. I'm in this here. Get it uploaded and ready to go. Um, then I probably want to film again on the 29th. Uh, but I've been doing that for years. Then I want to film on the 31st and the three years of Miss Americana. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs> Thumbnail.